What's up y'all, my name is Arnold and I recently graduated Yale with a degree in theater and political science. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about 10 ideas on how to spend your summer as a high school student before you start college. Now I did have a video on how you should spend your summer right before starting college. And if you wanna see that video, click over here. But this video is a little bit different and talks generally about all four summers. One great way to spend your summer is to focus on your fitness. Especially during the school year, everything is busy because I know that in high school, I personally had to wake up at like 6 a.m. and the earliest I would get back wouldn't be until 3 p.m. and sometimes I have extracurriculars in which I'd be back at 5 p.m. and then I have to work a part-time Time job. So finding time for fitness was very difficult, but summer could be a great way to reevaluate your goals and reset. To put it simply, in order to function properly as a human being and as a student, you need a healthy body and a healthy mind. And physical fitness certainly helps with that. For example, I'm helping out my younger cousin who's about to enter his junior year of high school by giving him a general fitness plan of going to the gym three times a week, focusing on compound movements, as well as preparing for his volleyball season. I remember during my summers, I would bike up to a soccer field and play soccer, and it was really fun, but also really healthy. The next important thing is to focus on habit formation. Once again, School can be very overwhelming, so take this time to establish habits like drinking a lot of water daily, eating healthier foods, which means something different for everybody, but generally speaking, eat your fruits and veggies. It's also important to develop the habit of sleeping seven to eight hours every night, especially when you're younger, because I know that in high school, I know for me in high school, if I got six hours of sleep a night, that was considered very, very lucky. So take this time to take advantage of it. You really have no excuse to not be sleeping at least seven to eight hours every night. The next thing is a boring one, but it is to prepare for the school year. Now, this one really depends because I'm a huge advocate of, you know, enjoying that summer, but especially if you're taking a bunch of like AP classes, you wanna make sure that you're ready for it. So this includes getting any prerequisites out of the way or getting any summer homework done. Once the syllabus or the syllabi are available, check it immediately just so that you can see, okay, do I have any requirements? And once you check it, then you can enjoy your summer a lot better knowing that, hey, I don't have any work to do. The next thing is to make money. You could work a part-time job. For example, I worked at a restaurant throughout my whole entire high school career, and it's always great to have that on your resume, build that experience, and also have some side cash. So you can make money that way or make money in ways that are more aligned with your career interests. But for me, to be honest with you, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. But for me, to be honest, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life at that point. So any way of making money was fine for me. Definitely also spend some time hanging out with friends in the summer, especially in ways that are not related to academics. Hang out with them, cherish that time, go to the movies, go to the mall, go to a trampoline park, because unless you guys go to the same college after high school, it's gonna be kind of tough, you know, reconnecting with them and hanging out with them in more casual ways. Also, if you have that part-time job, you can use that money to support your endeavors. On that note, you should also hang out with family. And it's the same situation with friends because during the school year, I'm pretty sure you're very, very busy with classes and extracurriculars. And once you're out in college or whatever you end up doing, it is gonna be very tough, you know, connecting with them. So ultimately plan intentional time with both your friends and family. And another thing is to literally just do whatever, like just have fun and relax. And like, you can even have days where you just like watch anime all day, all week. I know I did that a lot. Just relax and have fun. You know, you're still a kid at this point and definitely take advantage of the fact that you don't have that many responsibilities, generally speaking, of course. But I'm also gonna be a little bit boring here and talk about extracurricular activities. Sometimes you can do extracurricular activities in the summer and this might be a great way to, you know, boost up your resume a little bit, you know, increase your involvement, especially if you're too busy to do extracurriculars during the school year. For example, during the summers, I was still involved with my church and my Indonesian community. And this also connects to sports, especially for all my athletes out there. There tends to be like a preseason in the summer you gotta make sure you're healthy, active, and prepared for the season. Now this last one is mainly for STEM people or people who have very specific interests, but you should also apply to and look into any research positions, any internships that you can do as a high school student. For me personally, I don't think I had one internship or research job or anything in any of my high school summers. I pretty much only worked at the restaurants, hung out with friends, family, took care of my fitness, but hey, to each their own. So that was it for this quick video on 10 ideas on how to spend your summer before college, but thank you so much. And if you want anything else, please let me know and I'll catch you in the next video.